is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around So to take the frame bolts off you have a 12 millimeter nut on the inside and the bolt head is 10 millimeters. Weird thing I noticed, if you can see this nut right here has the, the washer side up against the frame like it should, this one's in backwards. That means I can't get a, uh, a wrench like this over it. I don't have any open end wrenches right now. I might have to go grab some. Hopefully this can just come out with unscrewing this. I'm gonna hold on to a lot of these bolts just in case I need them for something in the future. I'm just throwing it out there. This would be a thousand times easier if I had an impact wrench. I really need to get one. There's a lot of bolts that need to come off. Right there, another nut that was put in backwards. Not good. I'm pretty light. I'm pretty wobbly. So it's now become apparent this cross member is going through to the forks and uh, is what's holding the bike so still. So I think this is going to be the last one I remember. Another bolt down here that is on backwards. But luckily, they're coming off pretty easy. So, thankfully, that's something we have to worry about. And yet another one that was in backwards. So, that's made like three so far, I think. I'm just in the crating process. Well, one, two, three, and then four. <sighs> Granted, it's the crating process, it's not like super duper important. But it does show how much they gave a shit of packaging up the bike. Before I continue real quick, we have a box inside of our box. Let's see what's inside it. Okay. So we have a toolkit for the bike. Basic toolkit. Uh, spark plug wrench I believe uh -huh, uh -huh. or just any general probably 12 14 millimeter wrench flathead screwdriver 14 17 10 and 12 millimeter wrenches nothing crazy but I'm sure it could prove itself useful out on the road so I'll leave this inside the box. We also have axle caps right here. Go on your axles whenever they're all set in. Uh, Allen key, 60 or V, I don't know what size it is. Then, based on everything I've seen ever, these are the mirrors. Mirrors. Wow, really fat mirrors. But. Leave those in the box for now. We don't need them just yet. Also get notice. Please, spelled PLS, use the dry battery according to following instructions. Wow. Russian? Backwards R. Yeah, Russian, right? I think. I don't know. I'll speak Russian. Battery notice. And then we have the owner's manual for the exact model number. Boom International Holdings. 
Man, this bike needs wiped down. It is dirty right out of the box. This basically tells you congrats on buying your bike. Shows the different models. Ours would be, I guess, the BD125-10, I believe. It has the rack on it, just like ours does. Okay, pretty basic information. You even have a maintenance schedule. They do tell you how to clean the air filter, which won't be applying to us because we will be getting rid of that entire air box. But this could come in handy. That covers everything that comes inside your box. I also got my um, certificate of origin and bill of sale that's in this envelope. I don't want to show like the VIN number or any of my personal information. I'm going to put this box here for now, along with my other information actually. Now, just for safety safes, I'm going to throw the kickstand down. Kickstand's all dirty. So, kickstand's down just in case it does decide to fall a little bit. Ooh, look at that. They bumped right into the uh, frame with a forklift or something. Jeez. All right, here's hoping the bike doesn't fall. It's a little difficult to put my crane on it right now, considering the legs of the crane can't exactly fit around the, uh, the crate. So we're going to see what happens. Confident should probably be okay. Okay. So now, it's still kind of being held in place, but not, not perfect. The wheels are kind of locked in a little bit. At this point, be pretty damn careful. You don't want to drop your bike. So I have the handlebars gently sitting back here. I need to unscrew these, get this plate off, and then we'll unwrap the bars and then temporarily install them, get all the plastic off, put the bike in neutral, try to roll it off the ramp as well as take off those wires. These were very loosely installed. Okay. We'll get these off, remove the bar, put the other ones out. These are here. There's now nothing holding the bike in place except for those wires. Double check that your bike is upright and not about to fall over. For the most part, it seems pretty stable, even if I push it over in one direction. It kind of leans and then comes to a stop. We do have our couple of connections that will be Hooking up to our battery. If I'm not mistaken, I think this battery is actually in backwards. All of these connections need to be flipped. Here's our knockoff seat. I heard they're not very comfortable, but oh well. Let's see if I can figure out how to put it back in. Just like that. For a second, I locked. I thought I locked the keys inside the trunk, and I almost, uh, I almost shit. Definitely some metal shavings and. Other stuff around here that needs to be cleaned up. This vehicle is a competition vehicle and it's for exclusively for use exclusively in closed course. That's a lie. I will be removing that. That's a terribly awful sticker to have. Damn it! It looks like it's rubbing out.